What are the parts of optic disc and what's optic disc cupping? There are two parts, the optic cup and the optic disc. The cup is in the center. So what's the difference between the optic cup and optic disc? Optic cup does not have nerve fibers in it. Whereas the optic rim has nerve fibers, the neuroretinal tissue. And what's the ratio between cup and a disc? Normal ratio between the cup and the disc is 0 0.2 to 1 or 1 is to 5. So if the cup increases in size, the neuroretinal tissues decreases in size. So the, that's what happens in if the pressure is increased as in glaucoma and other conditions. This is the normal cup here. Then it increased in glaucoma and the neuroretinal tissue, the rim is decreased. And this is known as optic disc cupping. What's the difference between a physiologic cupping and a glaucomatous cupping? Physiologic cupping remains stable for a long period of time. So what's the difference between papilledema and optic disc edema? Papilledema is the bilateral optic disc swelling due to increased intracranial pressure. And optic disc edema is the edema due to any other cause other than increased intracranial pressure or papilledema. Examples are glaucoma, optic neuritis or optic neuropathy that cause optic disc edema. What's the classic symptom of the papilledema? Transient visual obscurations in one or both eyes. How about visual acuity in papilledema? Affected only in severe papilledema. If there is enlargement of the blind spot and optic nerve atrophy and then if, if there is a decrease in optic disc swelling then this is an ominous sign. What investigation is done? Magnetic resonance angiography for venous sinus occlusion or for avisions. What pseudo tumor cerebri? Increased CSF pressure with normal CSF indicate pseudo tumor cerebri and other name is idiopathic intracranial hypertension and it occurs in young obese females and treatment with acetazolamide which decreases the CSF production and shunt is done for the non-responders. What are the clinical features and examination findings of papilledema? It may be asymptomatic or present with headache in the early stages. There is venous engorgement is usually the first signs with loss of venous pulsation, hemorrhages, blurring of the optic disc margins and elevation of the optic disc. What are visual obscurations? Inability to see in a particular part of visual field for a period of time and ultimately total loss of vision may occur. What are the causes of papilledema, trauma, tumor, infection, increased CSF production, decreased CSF reabsorption and blockage to the CSF flow?